Hey, what's up guys? So have you ever seen those cameras that are sometimes installed on top of traffic lights at intersections? And you've wondered what those cameras are for? Well, they're not red light cameras. They're not speed cameras. They don't issue tickets. Uh, and I've actually seen a lot of people actually incorrectly report them on ways as if they are red light cameras, but that's not what they're for. Additionally, sometimes you may drive through an intersection and your detector could alert to radar or even photo radar, uh, despite the fact that there's no actual photo radar in use here and that's not an intersection uh, that issues tickets. What's going on here? And how do you tell the difference between what's actually a potential threat, could give you a ticket, and what's not? Well, in this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at some of these other systems, different traffic cameras, etc., uh, showing you exactly what they see and how they operate uh, to give you a better idea as far as some of the different systems that are in use and how you can better tell the difference between uh, maybe a camera that's designed to issue tickets and those that are not. <laughs> So traditionally, when we're talking about photo radar systems, whether it's red light cameras, speed cameras, etc., oftentimes you'll see some sort of enforcement notification sign uh, at those intersections. Not always, but it's pretty common. Additionally, those camera systems can actually be pretty big. You've got the camera, you've got the flash, you've got the radar transmitter and sensor, uh, etc. On the other hand, sometimes you'll see these little cameras that are mounted on top of traffic lights, and these are actually designed uh, for different purposes. And to better understand how these work, uh, there's actually a guy that I recently found over on TikTok who goes by Traffic Light Doctor. And he's got a series of videos that show us more information about how these cameras are designed uh, and how they work. You may see a lot of cameras like this on your daily commute. And no, they're not for surveillance. They're actually for vehicle detection. As you can see, these cars in these lanes here with the zones drawn out and it's highlighted blue, it's putting in a call for them to get a green light. Right there, phase three is the phase that they're on and they have a call and it's about to switch to them. And it's because of that camera that they're getting the green light and they are now free to clear. And as you can see, there they go. And so as we saw, those cameras are designed specifically to look down at cars, not to issue tickets or anything, uh, but just to see that there's cars sitting there waiting at a red light and to know that, hey, I should go ahead and uh, start changing these lights over to green so that those cars can go. Uh, now, this was a purely visual system, right? There was no radar in use. Uh, that said, there are certain intersections where they do have radar transmitters. You may think these radars at an intersection is catch you speeding, but it's actually for presence detection. This truck over here in this through lane is actually being picked up by and is given a call on his phase that he's sitting on and through this 656 here it talks back to the controller and gives them a green light at this intersection it's pretty awesome and so in that video we saw that they were using the radar transmitter to sense if there's cars sitting at the intersection uh, and if it needs to change their light from red to green uh, now something to note is the reason that these systems can alert to photo radar sometimes even though they're not used to issue tickets or anything is because some of the modulation patterns may be similar to what's in use in photo radar. Now for more information about this you can check out my video uh, that explains how blind spot radar works. Basically they're using different modulation patterns uh, to detect not only things like speed like a police radar gun would do uh, or direction of travel but they're needing to monitor multiple vehicles. They're needing to see like hey not only how fast is that car going but is it close to me? Is that car sitting in my blind spot or not? So it needs some additional distance information. Photo radar would do the exact same thing. It's going to be monitoring multiple lanes of traffic. It can tell the speed, the direction, the distance, etc. And in order to get this additional information, that's where the modulation schemes come into play. Uh, and some of the modulation patterns might wind up looking very similar to something that we might see from a multi radar, uh, a Gatso, a Red Flex, Mestifusion, etc. And so that's the reason why uh, the detector may actually confuse that uh, radar transmitter as if it's photo radar, even though it's not something that's actually issuing a ticket. Uh, and actually, to see another example of that, he's got another video uh, that kind of shows us a little bit more information when it's actually monitoring a motorcycle in an intersection. People ask if these radars pick up motorcycles. Seems to be picking him up just fine here at the stop bar. And if we take a closer look again at the very end of that video, you can see uh, that it's tracking two lanes of traffic. It's tracking some vehicles that are stationary, others that are moving. And so it's detecting more than just the speed of those vehicles, right? Uh, something else to note, police radar guns typically don't work against vehicles that are stationary versus this can actually detect, uh, well, stationary targets, cars that are actually sitting at a red light too. So again, it's designed to be a little bit different from what we'll see from like our traditional continuous wave uh, police radar guns and it's doing more stuff, a lot like what photo radar would see. And so because it's doing these different things, that's why we actually start to see uh, some false alerts that can look like police radar, sorry, as photo radar, uh, rather than just traditional continuous wave K-band or something. And so uh, anyways, this was just kind of like a cool visual behind the scenes look as far as uh, what those systems can see from their perspective uh, and how they operate 
which is kind of a nice counterpart to some of the like theory that I might talk about here as far as uh, modulation patterns and whatnot. So anyways, uh, if you want to check out more of his videos, I'll link to them down in the description. And this was just kind of a quick video to give us a little bit more information as far as how these uh, different traffic light cameras work and kind of how they're different than your traditional like photo enforcement systems. And so um, I'm not a photo enforcement expert or anything by any means. We don't actually have a ton of them here in my area. We have some, but not a ton. Uh, but either way, it was kind of cool to just learn more about how these systems work. Uh, if you guys have some additional resources that you know of, feel free to leave them down in the comment area below. Or, I mean, we're all learning here together. So if you find some other stuff, I'd love to learn more too, just like I'm sharing this stuff here with you guys. And so with that said, that's it for now. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys are doing great. And I'll see you in the next video.